It's Alexis Michelle, and I'm taking you into my life and taking these fashions out of the closet. <gasps> Cameras and me without a stitch of makeup? Just kidding, come in. Welcome to my house. Now that you're in my home, you'll be able to see we live in small spaces in New York and it's all about maximizing. And this is actually an apartment that would be a really generous size for one person. But when you add in the fact that it's not really just one person, it's like an extra crazy woman with a lot of lives here. It gets a little crazy sometimes. Right over here is my front closet. <laughs> And I like to try to keep this as like my boy wardrobe, but that's not so successful. As you can see, Alexis has a way of taking over. I would say I'm organized, except it's more like there's a method to the madness or there's a plan behind the chaos. It's organized chaos. And oh, actually over here with my winter coats, this is my infamous faux fur, the basic bitch. Blue dress is nowhere in sight. It's been repurposed. It does not exist in that form. It will never again see the light of day. I do still sometimes wear this fur coat when the weather's cold. I loved taking my horrible basic bitch blue dress from the fur runway and I repurposed it and I actually wore it in our music video that we made for Clat. I think a lot of times our big failures or the moments where we don't quite hit the mark are perfect places to derive inspiration from. But yeah, I've got like a mix of both like boy wardrobe and drag storage, bunch of uh, shake and go wigs in these bins up here. And speaking of wigs, come on over to my bookcase. This is my office, entertainment center, library, and most importantly, my styled wig collection. So there's definitely like an old glamorous value system that is perhaps the most important to me, but I do try to keep my eye on what's happening now and somehow bring them together. I don't know if that always works, but I try. Actually, this is a Bobby Pins wig that I wore on the show. This was my naughty nighty runway. This style with the finger wave over to one side and the other side pulled back behind the ear is uh, a style that Bobby, I believe, started doing for Miss Fame. But once I did it on the show for the Naughty Nighty, people kept requesting this style. And so now Bobby calls this the Alexis, which I think is so sweet and cute. When I first started doing drag, I had a very narrow aesthetic. It was very like soft, feminine drag. That female illusion was my total objective. And I think that as I started to grow up, I was more interested in mixing it up. This is another wig that Bobby did for me for uh, the first ever New York Drag Con. And it was really hilarious because poor little Farah had just had her apartment broken into. And of course I wore a pink wig to Drag Con. And so everybody assumed I had stolen my little Farah's drag. I would never. She's my precious little angel. No. Right here, of course, this is my finale gown from season nine of Drag Race. It's very beautiful. And as you can see, this is not something easy to store. So it's been living here on a dress form in my apartment ever since the finale. Shoes, jewelry cases, some excess wigs. In fact, I think here we have two very iconic people here. This is Chris and this is Lasha. See, they actually are two different wigs. I'll put on my Liza wig and everybody says, oh my God, Kris Jenner. And I'll put on the Kris Jenner hair and they're like, yeah, Liza. Right here, it's actually in a garment bag because this is how I travel with it on the road. My friend Todd Fisher made this. He's a wonderful New York based designer. This has really become uh, a new staple in my Liza life and impersonation. I'd say like probably my strength when it comes to putting my looks together is that I have an eye for the whole picture. That brings in that idea of balance and proportion. It also brings in that eye for detail. You have to see the bigger picture. You have to see the silhouette you're creating, but you also want the finishes and the details. And I feel like that's really my strength is pulling a look together from conception to 
um, execution. This is actually something I haven't debuted yet. This is um, a dress by my friend Florence DeLee. Um, and it's just like a print that I, we were shopping in the garment district and I was like, Florence, I know you probably think I'm crazy, but I really love this citrus. And other people had told me it was the ugliest print ever, but Florence was like, yes, all of that. I never feel like I'm done or like I've arrived. The best I can hope for when I've like conceived a look and put it together is that I feel like it fulfills the way it looked in my mind. If I feel like when I'm in it, I created it and I executed it properly, that's a good feeling. There's really always growth that can be done. And that's the kind of queen I try to be. I try to keep the ball rolling so that I don't rest or stay in one spot with my looks. I'm so glad you got a little taste of what it's like to cram a lot of drag into small New York spaces. Thank you so much for joining me. Now it's time to go. Bye.